So we're gonna look at one more method now called Lowndes method. Uh, now this one was never actually, has never actually been used in Congress. Uh, it was proposed by a congressman from South Carolina, uh, which is a fairly small state. And not surprisingly, this method favors small states. Uh, so it starts out the same way. We find our divisor, uh, and which done a few times now. Uh, right, we take our, 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 the population and divide it by the number of seats, and then t uh, d uh, <laughs> and then divide each population by the divisor to get our quotas. Uh, twenty-four point, oh, twenty-four point five eight seven two, and nine point oh oh one seven. Uh, and our initial allocation is just like, um, just like Hamilton's method where we're going to round, uh, down. So we're gonna chop off the decimal part. Uh, and then we're going to look and see how many seats are allocated. In this case, only 40 seats are allocated. We've got one more seat to allocate. Now, back in, in Hamilton's method, we just looked at the decimal part, but, um, Lowndes method is going to look at the ratio of the decimal part to the whole number part. So, for, uh, for Kent, uh, it's going to look at the ratio of the decimal part, 0.411, to the whole number part. So it's gonna take 0.411 and divide it by, by 7. So in other words, this is going to, uh, end up adjusting the, the decimal part relative to the size of the state. So here, uh, even though North, uh, Newcastle's decimal part was the largest, they're also the largest state, and so when we end up, or, or county in this case, uh, so when we end up dividing it, it makes that number, uh, much smaller. Um, though, you know, here, uh, you know, Sussex is about the same size as, or only slightly larger than Kent, um, but because the decimal part is so much smaller, uh, this is gonna end up much, much smaller. So to decide on, um, who's gonna get the, the, the extra representative, we look at these values and pick the large, uh, this, the county with the largest one. So in this case, Kent is gonna be the one to get that extra seat. So you notice that there's been, uh, sort of a bias in this method towards, towards the smaller counties.